Hey, my loves. Hey, my spiritually savage family. Sending you lots of love and joy at this very moment. I am sitting outside journaling. Giving you so much needed out of me. Enjoying my blanket. And just enjoying this day, right? But as I'm writing, a thought came to my mind. Just to let you know, this is my second time recording. I tried to do the record and upload via through YouTube app. And it, this is the fourth time it's done this. Not today, but I'm noticing that when I try to do that, it sometimes it doesn't allow me to. I don't know why, but anywho. A thought came to my mind, right? Along my journey, I've come to realize certain things. And one of the main things is that spirituality was intentionally left out of any patriarchal religion. Intentionally. So, if you are watching this video, then you may be at a point in your journey where you're questioning your path. Where you're like, because of how you were raised, you know, no matter which one it is, I don't care. Pick and choose your, whichever one it is. What, what, Islam, Judaism, um, uh, Christianity, uh, Catholic, whatever. Whatever, whichever one it is. If it is ran off a patriarchal system, spirituality was intentionally left out of it. And to me, one of the main reasons on why that would be is because mainly spirituality centers around the woman. And then I go back to me being in high school and I remember, um, the Salem witch trials and thought that was very interesting right and then I'm like okay well why is that so why is that so so if you are beginning your spiritual journey and you've come across this video if you're in the middle of it and you had an intuition about it and you were like oh why did this not sit right with me well this is just confirmation that you're on the right path so do some digging whatever religion you are in you can even look up patriarchal religions and see what they say about them from christianity and how it got started catholicism how it got started um, Buddhism, how it got started, all that stuff. And so I've come to the point where I appreciate the path that started me on my way, which is religion. I had fun in church. I learned a lot in church. Actually, it was the core values that that led me here. I was just confused as to why the people that I had around me, not all, didn't believe in the same core values when we went to the same church and, you know, or went to the church. Or it should, I'm trying to learn, not trying to learn, but I'm trying to not curse as much. Um, but in any religion the basis of any religion is love but when people do things that are not in love or done out of love it confuses you it confused me it did and that was because the spirituality part where it tells you to love yourself as god loves you first literally so certain things you may need to be walking away from. And I'm learning that now. And I believe that is going to be an ongoing lesson as we evolve. 
when we evolve. God does not want you to self-sacrifice yourself. And I have to keep saying that because that's what I did. And so I'm assuming if you clicked on here, you in that same boat. I had like 10 folks, so I don't know how many you had. I had a whole family. And when I say that, I'm not speaking of my or just my immediate family. I'm talking about my spiritual family too. Because once you realize that we are in meat suits, you also realize that friends are your spiritual family. So they can either be soul trap or they can be your karmics, meaning that they are here to teach you a lesson. That's what spirituality teaches you. That there are certain people in your life. Religion said it, but spirituality breaks it down. That kind of startled me a little bit. But it breaks it down. God was embodies both. God is both masculine and feminine. We are combined of both parts. Along with inner child and a couple of other things. So, if you're on this journey and you've gotten to this video, then you are just now learning or you're in the middle of your journey or you're celebrating like me and learning how to sit still and let God work through our lives, right? Learning how to sit still and listen without moving. I'm still learning. Listen, I have 40-something years of constant movement. So, and in the last 20, it was like super imposed. So, you know. But I'm here and I am celebrating. Literally. Because I just had a thought try to intervene my sitting out here and I was laying on my back. That's what prompted me to go get my book. And start writing because I recognized the enemy's voice. Trying to distract me with my past when I don't have no need for my past anymore. The only need or desire I have to revisit the past. And I'm talking about from yesterday on back. From that moment on back. <laughs> I'm, I don't need to unless it connects to that for me and I will know I will know and I'm sitting here enjoying this breeze do you feel this breeze? do y'all see this breeze? the grass is moving it's beautiful and as I am enjoying this breeze a thought pops into my head trying to take me to the past and I was like what? I was like you finna try and interrupt me no, 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 no. And then I caught myself because I was so proud of myself by catching that thought right when it happened. So I had to go write about it because I'm learning to celebrate the little miracles, the little clarity moments. You know, I'm, I'm be honest, I'm going to raise my hand on this one. And I'm be the first to admit that I was one of the ones waiting for God to be to to show me the big miracles i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be honest and if you're watching this video you probably are too because you're at a point where you feel like dang you know i've been waiting this long you're not mad about it but you just like dang but it's coming i really do believe that i really do and so it's not meant to quit and so the fact that I caught that thought and the fact that I wanted to celebrate myself to myself, with myself, by myself, and I did not have the desire to call anybody else, that was a win-win for me. That was. That was that was a beautiful moment for me. Because I recognized that wasn't my thought. Get the heck up out of here. Yeah. Shoe fly shoe. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Konnichiwa. That probably don't even mean bye, but you know. You know what I mean. Adios, amigo. Don't konnichiwa. Aloha. Don't mean aloha mean hello and goodbye at the same time.
Huh. Either way. Peace, love, and light. Namaste. Ashe. If you haven't gotten outside, get outside. Get outside right now. Get outside. Take this as a sign to get outside. I'm looking right now to see what time it is. It is... It is 5.05 my time. Right? Oh, yes, it is. Thursday, April 15th. Take that as confirmation that you need to get outside. Don't matter when you come across this video. No matter what the day is. We vibing, honey. That's it. I shall talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.